Today we're going to be installing a sh corner shower from a company called Max. This is the Sirene shower kit. If I could find it, I'll link it below. We're going to be following the instructions as best we could. We'll adjust some things because sometimes the instructions ain't the best way. This shower kit, we got it from a hardware store here locally. The step we are going to do now is not a step that they say to do, but if you listen closely, when I step on this shower pan, you could hear that squeak. I don't, I don't really like that. We want to get as much of that squeak as we, as we can down. So first thing I'm going to do is mark our shower pan. Just bump it up against it and then draw it with the pencil mark. So our foam is down. Now what we're gonna do is uh, run a, a bead of si uh, silicone. This is what the manufacturer asked for, so that's what we're gonna do. Now we'll grab our drain. Flip them around so you guys can see what's going on. So, you have your gaskets, your rubber and your paper one. ABS pipe. Silicone on these screws. Now 
And then as far as the other steps that I did on here, like putting the foam under here so it don't squeak as much, uh, that's an extra step. And then these screws are also steps that were not in the instructions. Um, so you want to maybe look at your manufacturer's uh, warranty to see if they'll avoid it if you do do any of those extra steps. So it's up to you what you want to do. But uh, this is just how I'm doing it. Uh, so next thing we'll continue on is with our 1x3s and our 2x3s. And get this on here. Alright, so if you can see these instructions here, it tells you to what measurements to cut them. So what I did is I pre-cut them. So we have every size we need. And the 1x3s, you only need two of them. Those are the ones that are going to go on the side. So, and these guys will go on the tops. All right, so what we're gonna do is start out with the six inch first. So I have the panel here. It's, it just depends what you got. Uh, if you have some like black caulking, you could use that. Or I guess if you have uh, whatever you got. I, we ate some ribs earlier. I got a little bit of barbecue sauce right here. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm just gonna dab a little bit on here. I imagine if you have some ketchup or you have a, even the ABS glue, anything you have on it, because uh, you're not going to use that plastic cover after a while, so uh, it'll work. 
Or let's hope it works, because this will make it a lot easier. So there's my mark. That's where I drill my hole. So let's go ahead and uh, get my drill and we'll cut this guy out right here. Okay, that's gonna work out. All right, so I'm gonna uh, run a bit of uh, silicone along here. Whatever you do, be careful with the screws because we dropped them and we were here looking for them for like 30 minutes. So we might need a little bit of pipes. We gave this guy a, a good little cleaning. Uh, so now what we're going to do is seal the bottoms. Have little dimples up here. I'm just gonna screw them in. Again, the instructions on this are not very clear. Um, 
they're not saying they're saying the number eight screw and then they say the number 10 so it's, the instructions aren't too clear Screw them down. I want to tighten them up all the way in. So I have a little bit of movement. Now what we're gonna do is put these guys on. So they come in at a, at a little bit at, a, at an angle, but you want them to come outside. You don't want them to face in. So if I put these opposite, they'll face in, but this way they face out. It's that simple. That's all you want to do. Um, everything, I've, I've started it plumb, so this guy's plumb, as long as I put it up against the edge there, so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, and next thing, there's three little holes. I'm gonna screw this guy in. So on these last two screws, uh, our camera fell out, so we didn't get that uh, footage, but what we had to do is we had to put a little bit longer screws um, in there. For some reason, this guy was popped out and it didn't want to grab the lumber in the back. So that's what we did for this one and that bottom one. Um, I don't know, even in case somebody runs into that trouble, so they have to do that. Um, and then these guys, they look like they're a little bit flexible on the tops here. So it looks like I'm going to have to kind of work them to get them in there. So let's go ahead and do that. Side in. Well, let's work this side in. There it is. Pretty solid. So I think that worked best. Uh, just starting at one corner, the bottom, work it up on one side, then go to the bottom, work it up to about halfway, and then lean in on the middle, on the top part, this guy. And get them in there. That was really simple. I think it's probably been the easiest thing to do on this whole job getting this guy. All right, so this this door right here in the back is the biggest one. So we put the curve out. So that way once we put this door in, the glass door is already in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with this bottom corner, stick that bottom corner first in, and then I'm gonna slide this top corner in, and then I have these little brackets that I'll screw in right away. One at the bottom here, and then one at the top. So we'll start with this corner of the glass. So I'm gonna lean them in a little bit. 
So now we're going to attempt to put this door in. I think I'm going to go from the top first and then the bottom. There it is. So it looks like if you lean it in from the top and then these bottoms, you just press the buttons down and they'll, they'll pop in. So it's the next day. Uh, we didn't quite finish yesterday. When I got in this morning, uh, I tried out these last little pieces uh, that we're going to put in uh, to see how they're going to fit. So um, there's two pieces here that are the door stoppers. So when you slide it, it kind of locks in here. So don't go past that point. Um, so it locks in the tires. We're going to have to put two of these on this side. Uh, and then we have to put all of these on the, on the doors and the door handle. And then pretty much that, that will be it. Uh, we'll have to put some silicone all along the edges, all along these bottom edges. So that way no water goes through there. And I'm also silicone this thing again right here and then at the bottom. So that way I'm sure there's no water that that come, uh, gets in there and causes any water damage. Um, and I'm a silicone around the water drain again also. Just for extra measure. You don't need to do that, but it's better if you do. Because those are the spots where if there's ever any dry rot in your bathroom and stuff, it's always usually in these corners or by the toilets or here because of a little leak like that. Uh, so first thing we're gonna do is this one right here on the outside. And these are pretty easy to do. Sometimes you might have to cut them a little bit. So there, there's two sides on them here. So you want this little wing to be on the inside. You don't wanna put it this way. That does no good. I think that's pretty basic. Surprise, people mess that up. It's that simple. It's gonna be the, the most difficult one. So we have two more that we put on this side of the door and then that side of the door. This one here, you can see, we're gonna have to snap it in right in this area. So, I think probably the best thing is gonna be if we put it on the side like that and then try to push it up. Yeah. 
that guy. So if you want to show them up here, right up in this area. So that door stopper here. So it's going to lock here and then this stops the wheel from coming anymore. So we're going to do this on the other side. So let's do that. And so first we'll put this guy. So that's what it looks like. So you want to come over this way a little bit? So there's a, come over this way here. Come on. So, so if, you, if you, here, let me get it. If you guys can see, there's a little hole right there. So that's where this guy goes. The screw goes inside of there. And that's all it is. You screw that guy down and that's the door stop. And then the other plastic one goes here. So all he's going to do is go here and we screw them in and that's going to have some caps that go on the top. So like that. And that's all it is. These tires go, they're going to close, it's going to lock there. It's not going to go past that level. And when you close it, it opens. So that's all that is, the door stop. And then also, these guys here on the other side, they have a screw on the bottom. You're able to adjust those up and down uh, and that'll move the door. So that way, if the angle is off a little bit, you're able to adjust these. So from the other side of the door, you, there's some screws here and there's a screw on this one over here. So you're able to adjust how the sides of the door are. So now we're going to put this guy on this side. And then we'll come in and cut these tops off. This top off and then this top off here. So, so, so this guy here is these little caps. Which one has one? So the, there's one. Let me put one here. And that protects the screws. Another gasket. Pop them in there. Put this through. Screw them in. I think those pretty much are in there. So I'm gonna grab a, a screwdriver and I'll tighten these up.
should be good. So, it keeps a nice water seal here along the edges. So if you look here, the, the gaskets are pretty good all the way down. No water will fall through. And then if you look this way, you'll see that everything is good. So I think that should pretty much cover how to do the shower. The only thing to do after this is to seal. And this, this is what I would do. I would do it from the inside and the outside. Put it here along this edge at the bottom of this edge and then on that edge and then on the inside again through this edge and the bottom of this edge those are those are critical so the water don't get through there the other thing i would do is this drain also put some more there S second is along these edges here these ones here all along the bottom and then this crease here i'll put some more silicone and lastly once i cover this guy up they come with a little gasket usually that comes in the back this little foam gasket i i wouldn't just leave it up to that i'd put a little silicone on that also i'd do it nice and neat so they couldn't even tell and then that everything is uh is watertight but that covers uh every step that that you need to do on this uh shower install it's a nice little shower for small areas but uh, if you like this video, hit the subscribe button. That helps us out big time. Hit the like button. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.